Welcome to As a Matter of Faith, brought to you by Altered States, an internet ministry committed to starting each day with the good news of the gospel. I am your host, Preacher Bob. Let's pretend for a moment it's the latter half of the first century. The Apostle Paul is on board a vessel sailing to Rome where he's going to stand trial before the emperor himself. The ship on which he's a passenger is huge for its day, about the same size as a British warship of the early 1800s. 276 other passengers are also on board. And then suddenly, the bane of all sailors, a nor'easter. A wind of hurricane proportions descends upon the ship. The only thing the crew is able to do is just ride it out. The storm lasts for days. The wind is non-stop. The crew begins to throw cargo overboard, hoping that they can lighten the load and keep her from capsizing. But the storm seems endless. There's no sun, no stars by which the crew could steer the ship. If ever there was a bleak and desperate situation, this is it. And then Paul relates a vision which he's had in which an angel comes to him and tells him not to be afraid. Then Paul delivers the message that even though the ship is going to be lost, God is going to protect all of those who are on board. Days upon days stuck in a ferocious storm, the incessant howling of the wind, the certainty of a shipwreck, and in the midst of all, Paul seems calm because the God whom he worships has given him a word of promise. Now you may never have spent days on a ship battling hurricane force winds, but you have had more than your turn at feeling the storms and the winds of trouble and hardship roaring through your life. You may know what it's like to have your hopes dashed on the rocks of despair. You felt the uncertainty and the fear of shipwreck. At some time, all of us have felt that way. I mean, after all, we are sinful creatures, frail vessels constructed of faulty timbers, desperately trying to sail in a stormy world. But the God that we serve is the very same God that Paul served, and he has bound himself to us through faith in Jesus Christ. As a matter of faith today, remember that the God who took our sins upon himself is the one who will see you through all things, even through the shipwrecks of life.